Ah, so picture the scene. You are in the eviction process. You have no job, no family helping you. You receive maybe 600 a month in child support if it comes consistently. Let's call it an average of $400 a month child support. You get about 400 a month in food stamps. You're virtually destitute and about to be homeless. The one fat greasy trucker that was taking you in and that was paying your house note, that was helping with your cell phone bill and your light bill as you pretended to be this strong, independent woman that doesn't want anything from anybody and everybody sucks. You had one fat, greasy trucker in your pocket and the occasional fleeting in and out sugar daddy to help you smoke six dollar packs of cigarettes every day. And then you get pregnant by some guy who deeply cares, who has a huge heart, willing to work seven days a week, good brain between his ears, and virtually a, a perfect daddy candidate, and even stepdaddy to the kids to your three-year-old son who has no one to take him fishing or kick the ball to him or teach him to do what his mom tells him to do. The three-year-old who's running the house of the jobless, homeless woman. The three-year-old who's in charge and does nothing he's told and eats fudge sickles for dinner. Eats chocolate ice cream and chips for dinner takes no naps and sleeps, it goes to sleep at three in the morning. So, so this is you, this is your life, and you have this candidate coming from Texas. Loves you, adores you, worships the ground you walk on, would tattoo your birth date on his forehead and declare it a national holiday. Absolutely loves you. And then when he gets there and you're having a baby with him, for days before delivery, you treat him like absolute shit. You attack him, slander him, demean him 25 times a day on average, constantly. Not intermingled with compliments or thank yous. After tons of attack, maybe once or twice a day you feel the guilt or you just see that you're pushing him away and he's going to run back to his normal life with sane people around him and so you decide hmm i need to throw out a half-ass fake apology and you do this once or twice a day because you're attacking 25 or 30 times a day just enough to keep him hanging on then you go to the hospital and you have a baby and when anybody else is in the room you put on your church lady smile and your giggle and you look like this sweet beautiful hippie soul and when no one else is around then you just continue to attack this guy and then when his one happy moment after the baby's born starts to cross his mind that he as a music fanatic would like to play his brand new daughter a song and he's he's grinning and pondering on what would be the perfect song to play for this new baby her first new song to hear in this bright cold crazy world well she hears sissy songs mom and sissy play her songs you know when she was in the womb at home in the dilapidated shack that you're about to get kicked out of. So, father of your new child is going to have a fun, soulful connection, enjoyable moment playing his newborn daughter 
a song of his choice that he would like to share once she's fed and farted and cleaned and napped and awake and looking around the room for a minute. So before we can even get to this moment, this child is still napping and dad's just lightly talking about maybe doing this and you got to go, oh, as much as I love music, you're going to make me hate music. Do you have to play music right now? And you put your head in your hands like somebody just kicked you in the ankles. And, you know, it's a horrible thing that this music fanatic that you got pregnant by, who was good enough to nut inside of you, but he's not good enough to like don't have to love and adore him like he does you, but you don't even like him. When you were flirty friends and you thought he was going to come visit and buy beer and cigarettes and make you look cool to your neighbors, well, then you did like him. But then when he gave you a baby and was willing to move to Shitville and rescue you, at least mostly, from the shit of your life, well... Now he's a piece of shit and he's going to make you not like music and blah, 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 blah. Because in your seventh grade mentality, everything is a competition. You can't look at Facebook because someone else may be doing well as they turn 40. You can't stand that your new baby daddy might get more likes and comments and reactions on the pictures of the baby that you just had. And you can't stand that he has a cool idea, not 30 minutes after the baby comes out, not four hours after everything calms down, not 10 hours later the next morning, but 19 hours later, well into the next afternoon, he finally lets out of his mouth that he's going to play a song for his brand new daughter, and you completely degrade him, deflate him, and attack him yet again at every opportunity. Oh, Lord, do you have to play music right now? 